So here we're given an example. The current through a circuit element is 50 milliamps. Find the total charge and the number of electrons transferred during a period of 100 nanoseconds. So what we're given, we know that the current is defined by this differential, dq dt, and that's equal to 50 milliamps. The total charge and the number of electrons transferred during a period of 100 nanoseconds. So our time is 100 nanoseconds, so we integrate both sides of this equation going from Q1 to Q2, our upper and lower limits respectively, dQ going from 0 to 100 nanoseconds. Now 100 nanoseconds is 100 nanoseconds is equal to 1 times 10 squared times 10 to the minus 9 seconds or 1 times 10 to the minus 7 seconds. So our upper limit here from 10 to the minus 7 the current I dt. That's equal to 0 to 10 to the minus 7 50 milliamps which is just 50 times 10 to the minus 3 dt and that's equal to 50 times 10 to the minus 3 times 10 to the minus 7 coulombs and this is equal to 50 50 times 10 to the minus 10 coulombs and we can convert in that into nanocoulombs as 5 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs which is equal to 5 nanocoulombs. That's the answer for this problem. So here we have an example, a chart, where we want to show the relationship between charge and current. In the graph on the left, we have a chart showing charge passing through a point in a wire as a function of time. And we want to find the current at various points of this graph. Well, we note that I is equal to dq over dt. So the uh, current I is the cha change in the amount of charge with respect to time. On the vertical axis, the units here is given as picocoulombs, and in the horizontal axis of time, we have the in the milliseconds. So what we need to do is just calculate the slope at each of these points in time. So here we're going from 10 picocoulombs to minus 10, ki 10 picocoulombs in 2 milliseconds. So here we have our definition of current, which is dQ dt, and we're just going to calculate the slope at each of these points of this graph. So we went from 10 to minus, minus 10 in from 0 to 2 milliseconds, okay, which is equal to 20 divided by 2. This is in pico, so that's 10 to the minus 12 here in the numerator, and 10 to the minus 3, which is basically 10 nanoamps. Okay, so our first part is this a minus, minus 10 nanoamps for going from 0 to 2 milliseconds. So that's our negative slope. Here we have a positive slope, but we're going from minus 10 to 30 in 1 millisecond. So in this case, that equals to 40 nanoamps. Again, minus 10 to, my, to 30 
that gives us a minus 40 in the numerator, and then 2 minus 3 gives a negative 1, or 40 nanoamps. Now here we have zero slope, which implies that there's no current passing through a particular time, so that from 3 to 4 milliseconds we have a zero slope. And then finally we have a negative slope going from 4 to 5 milliseconds, and therefore the evaluation goes from 30 to 10, or 20, and there's a negative slope, so 20 divided by 1 is just again minus 20 nanoamps. So in this here, from 4 to 5 milliseconds is minus 20 nanoamps. And then from 5 to 6 milliseconds, we again have zero slope, so that's why we have zero current here. Hopefully this illustrates the relationship between charge and current through this derivative, I equals dq dt. Again, current is the change of charge over at a point in time uh, with respect to time. So this is the derivative dq dt is equal to the current.